guys, Jonah here, and Laura, and for, and for our assignment, we're going to be talking to you guys about the elaboration likelihood model. So, let's get started. So, this model was created in 1986 by John Capoccio. Capoccio? Cappuccino? No, Capoccio, um, and also Richard Petty. Okay, not that Richard Petty. This Richard Petty. There we go. Richard Petty was a distinguished university professor of psychology at the Ohio State University. And John Terrence Capoccio is the Tiffany and Margaret Blake Distinguished Service Professor at the University of Chicago. The goals of this theory is aimed to persuade the audience perspective and attitude towards a certain concept and product through one of two or both methods, the central and peripheral route. But if you want to get real specific with it, it is used to explain different ways of processing stimuli and how it is used along with the outcomes on attitude and other changes. As we just recently said, there are two main components of this theory, and they are the central and peripheral route. When audiences are being persuaded, these are the routes they take when processing the information and choosing where to accept or reject the argument. Alright, now, let's get into the peripheral route. Now, this route is known as a mental shortcut process that rejects or accepts a message based on irrelevant cues as opposed to actively thinking about the issue. Along with the six cues that help audiences follow this route, it is mostly used to quickly reject or accept persuaded arguments without much or any cognitive effort and examination. No, I mean, it might sound silly, but... I used to daydream that by now I'd have my own place by a lake somewhere. An oasis where I could go to write, pay the bills by renting out the rooms. Oh, like a B&B? &B? That could be fun. What? What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and me opening a B&B. &B. Are you serious? That'd be great. Sure, it'll be fun. All right, let's give it a try. Can't be any worse than when I was on the night's watch. All right, so let's get started with the central route. With the central route, there's a path of cognitive processing that involves scrutiny or message content. When audiences are persuaded on a topic that they have strong connections with, they just care so, so much, uh, they will use this route to for thoroughly examine the proposed ideas discussed and determine if its value is great enough to persuade their view. Now, to do this, it requires high levels of cognitive effort and mull over their implications. This process is basically dissecting and examining a message, which is known as message elaboration. The extent of which a person carefully thinks about issue-related arguments contained in a persuasive communication. Brian, bitches, bitches, Brian. What? What's all this? This, Brian, is called diversification. You see, if our guests insist on bringing prostitutes into our B&B, &B, we might as well provide the women, too. What? Stewie, we're not going to become pimps. Are you sure? I'm sure. The answer is no, so don't bother flashing a wad of money because there's no way I'm going to change my answer in the middle of this sentence. Okay, maybe we could try it out and see how it goes. Hey. So, how do these two concepts interrelate? They're, now, these routes are what audiences go through when being persuaded in any form. If an audience feels strongly connected to their subject that they're being persuaded on, they're more likely to go to control cue to fully examine the message and decide that the points they're hearing are battle enough to change their minds. Whereas the persuasive topics with weak audience connection will follow the peripheral cue to quickly accept or reject the discussed points. Basically, they both evaluate the points in a persuaded piece. One route just happens to be faster than another. So, we reviewed four scholarly articles that found how elaboration likelihood model is incorporated within social media through opinion leaders. And opinion leaders are individuals whose views and opinions influences others' actions. Like YouTube celebrities who review movies, and based on the reviews, people decide to go see a movie or not. One study in particular uh, looked at how one's Instagram account with a huge following can influence its followers to purchase or voice certain products. And they did this through an online survey with a link attached to the survey on the opinion leader's account. The findings showed that, a dig that digital opinion leaders, excuse me, are capable of generating persuasive messages that can change the attitudes of followers and make them accept the information provided by influencing their intention to buy evaluated products. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you understand elaboration likelihood model a little bit better now. 
Well, that's it done. We out.